everyone. Here at Nerd Alert, some of our favorite things are technology, video games, pop culture, and science. So why not beef up the science department a little bit? I know what you're thinking, and yes, it is happening. I'd like to introduce my friend and yours, the lovely and brainy Miss Cara Santa Maria. Welcome, Kara. Thank you, Cam. Now, you're a new part of the Young Turks I team. I am. And it seems natural that you should come here. Of course. I can't <laughs> believe I haven't been here yet. This is crazy. <laughs> crazy. So, Kara is a science educator, our newest staff member on the Young Turks. And hopefully, well, she will. She will bring a lot of science heft and muscle <laughs> to these stories. Let's get started on the right foot. Oh, no. Uh, with a story <laughs> of a woman who allegedly has foot orgasm syndrome. Um, a woman only going by the name Mrs. A reportedly has five to six orgasms a day originating in her left foot. And doctors think this is because of, well, she had intensive care treatment on her foot a year and a half ago, and something may have happened with the nerves. Is this possible? I think it is totally possible, but what's funny to me is when I read this article about Mrs. A, which is a common way for clinicians to refer to patients while they're still alive. Oh, really? Yeah, a lot of times their names will be released a after they're dead, but mm -hmm. while they're still alive, you'll read about Mr. P, Dr. R, whatever, to, to maintain anonymity. Um, when I first read about this, I was kind of stricken by the quote from the scientist who was involved in the study. He said that, quote, an underlying neurobiological theory of a possible foot-genital relationship has so far not been formulated, which to me is insane because I remember learning like in undergrad <laughs> years ago that um, there is a relationship. There's a huge relationship. When you look at the somatosensory cortex of the brain, which is a, a region of the brain, it's a strip right about here where, you know, touch signals are processed. Kara. On the, hello. <laughs> um, it, where touch signals are processed in the cortex. So we're not talking about the nerves of the foot now. We're talking about a signal coming up through the foot, traveling all the way up to the brain, and then processed in the cortex, which is kind of a higher order um, region of the brain. Mm -hmm. If you look at the homunculus, which is a weird word, but it's like... A, I know it because I watch anime, but you know it for a There you go. <laughs> it's kind of a, a person representation somewhere in the brain or, you know, back in the day they used to call it a homunculus when they thought that a little man lived in sperm. Uh, and that's how <laughs> eggs were fertilized. And we're still holding on to a that. A tiny little man <laughs> lives in the sperm. Um, so, but if you look at a homunculus um, representation on this somatosensory cortex, you'll see that the genitals are right next to the feet. Okay. So there's, I think, pretty good reason to think that sometimes you could have signals that are a little bit cross there. If, you know, if there's not really good kind of discrimination in that region of the brain, even though your foot is processing information appropriately and your genitals are processing information appropriately, they may be, some wires may be crossed once you get to that higher level place where this information is being processed. That's interesting. Is that, is that a common thing or extremely no. uncommon? I mean, it's, it's, everyone's brain is mapped that way. Yeah. So it's, 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 completely common that the representation of your genitals and your feet are in the same place. But the idea that you could have orgasms from walking, obviously, I mean, this British study shows that it's the first of its kind. It just doesn't seem that unlikely to me. Huh. So I'm wondering, like, can this somewhat explain people who might have foot fetishes? I think so. I mean, I think that there's also some, it's culturally bound in mm -hmm. a lot of ways, right? Like, um, Well, it, people like, like, you know, sexy shoes, I guess, or yeah. legs, but like high-heeled shoes and, and you tend to see it more right with fetishes with women's feet which I think are like cleaner. Someone's on wiki feet. So I'm right. just saying. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah okay so this is like super disgusting <laughs> but I tweeted a picture of my feet um, like you know like you do like a beach picture except I was at the Korean spa so I was like laying in a yeah. clay room if you go to Korean spas you know what I'm talking about and I tweeted a picture of my feet like hanging out in the clay room like you do and then somebody tweeted back and they were like that already made wiki feet? There you go. Anna's all over it. I mean, really? Yeah. I didn't even know what it was. Well, and I was like, oh, MG. it's a collection of people who may have some kind of a interest. In interest. In <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Well, maybe this could explain it. Maybe there's a strong neurobiological basis for that. It could be. I mean, has there really been much research into it? Or I don't think so. Not so much. I really don't think so. I mean, the fact that, like I said, this. Um, this researcher is saying that there's absolutely no hypothesis, it seems kind of crazy to me because this is an obvious place to, to start looking, you mm -hmm. know? I mean, it just seems anybody who's taken neuroscience, who's learned about how the somatosensory cortex is mapped, would think, wait, genitals, genitals feet. feet, they're right next to each other. That might be <laughs> telling us something. 
I don't know. Get some foot massages. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love me a good foot massage. <laughs> For a different reason. <laughs> it's true.